Good morning everybody. It is Monday the 29th of June and this is a weekly vlog. Uh, Here mommy. comes Jennifer because she wants to be in it. She's not dressed yet. Nor am I. We'll get dressed in a bit. Oh, baby and mummy. <laughs> yes, baby and mummy, yes. So yes, it's my birthday today. <laughs> we would have been on holiday oh, but of course baby. it's all been cancelled. <laughs> She's got toast all around her chops. Uh, so we're just chilling at home. Um, I'm having a nice cup of tea. We're watching Andy's Dinosaur Adventures on TV. And I'll um, let you know how the day goes. So, um, And I'll show you um, any presents I get. I have got one opened, which is from my brother Chris. It's a book called Letters from Hollywood. I'll show you it later when I show you anything else I might get. We don't do a lot of spending on birthdays because we like to spend our money on this thing here. So I'll be back in a bit. So I've got some presents, um, Jennifer gave me uh, the Tattoo Grayscale colouring book, the Jade Summer one, which would be nice, I'll enjoy that, and um, you'll see that properly on the channel later when we do the um, haul, so you'll probably see, you'll see that before you see this. Um, it brought me this handheld game which has got like 400 games on it. It's really, really cool, really retro. There's lots of retro stuff going on here today, so it goes on like that. You can pick it up your language. And then there's 400 games, it's really good. And press start. Oops, select. I have no idea what this is. So it's really good. And you just walk around, do whatever it is you do. I have no idea. So, yeah, it's really good. We've played a few of them. You got me a Manic t shirt, which I'll be wearing later, so you'll see that. Um, and then you got me this box. This is a retro sweet shop in a box. So, it's full of things like refreshers bars, fizz whiz, dip dabs, bags of sweet, these lipstick whistle things. I remember these when I was little, loved them. Um, sherbet fountains, lollipops, there's all sorts of candy, candy state canes with stickers. Um, love hearts, drumsticks, oh it's fantastic. So it's a very retro birthday for me today. I'm going to have to uh, uh, keep them out of Jennifer's little hands because there are some, there's some chocolate coins, you can have them with mummy later all right but they're mummy sweets it's a big box as well so that'll be fun um i showed you the book i had he did order me a back to future teacher but they sent the wrong size so that's going back what's that darling no you can't have that yet um no you're not having the sweets kids and then uh, yeah, the Back to the Future t-shirt's got to go back because he did pay for our holiday which we'll be having next year instead um, but we're doing a Back to oh you want to play on the game okay hang on she won't know how to do it but I'm going to put it on for her <laughs> oh, that. she won't be able to play it but she can have a look at it. I'll play it in a minute for you, Jen. Um, Got to go to my mum's. My mum's present hasn't arrived yet because I ordered some pencils. So I'll show you when they arrive. They're supposed to arrive today. And later we'll be doing the Back to the Future quiz and having a drink once Jennifer's gone to bed. Is it a turtle? Yeah, they're turtles. Um, yeah, so I'll catch up with you later. I'm going to have some food. Get dressed because I'm not dressed yet. And then... Uh, Get Jennifer dressed and we'll head off to Mum's. Paul's just gone down the shop to get some beers and crisps for later and to drop off some eBay sales. So it's all good. All good in the hood. So just getting dressed and I've just put on my new Mannix t-shirt. It's got all cemetery pictures on it. So crosses and angels. Paul doesn't like cemetery stuff so that's why I didn't get it for him. I got him a Beatles one which he's wearing today. That was Father's Day from Jen. But I love that. Excuse my messy floor. I'm just watching some Judy Garland collection videos in the background by C H L P, I think it is. Judy Garland. She's really cool. I like her videos. You know me, I love anything to do with Hollywood. So there's a little bookcase that will be going in the corner where the stock is, which is there. 
when I've got rid of that, which won't be long because this stuff is selling, so I need to get some photographed. So I'm going to be rearranging some of the bookcases. So this bookcase here, the first three shelves will be going on the smaller bookcase, and that bookcase will become all entertainment and old Hollywood stuff. So what that means is this one here, which the first three shelves of Marilyn, I've got two shelves of Hollywood stuff here, excuse the fan, and there's colouring supplies. That'll empty that shelf, those three shelves, or at least those two. Colouring supplies, I will try and put them with the colouring stuff. Um, my plan is to bring in the DVD player that is in another room and bring that in here so when I can't sleep I don't have to watch YouTube, I can just put a movie on. And that, that little shelf will be, um, I'll have uh, some DVDs on there because I have got duplicates of some films. So I've got more than one copy of The Wizard of Oz, I've got more than one copy of most of the Monroe films, so they can all stay up here. Um, then there's some Judy Garland documentary DVDs, well, they're sort of like the Judy Garland show but it's not. They sort of are. And there's Judy Frank and Dean. They can come up here because it's not the sort of stuff Paul's in. He'll watch a film with me. He'll watch a Judy Garland film. We watched Wizard of Oz last night with Jennifer. First time she's watched it. And she did sit through most of it. Um, so the duplicates will come up here. So I'm thinking of getting the Blu-ray of Easter Parade because I want the extras, which I don't have on my copy. And so that original copy can then come up here and so on and so on. That's my plan anyway. So yeah, I really enjoyed watching The Wizard of Oz last night on Blu-ray. So because I've got that Blu-ray, I've got a box set of The Wizard of Oz that can come up here and uh, sit in this room, which is great. So I'll have some films up here to watch when I feel like it. Also thinking of um, getting Netflix because I do want to watch more films and then of course if I've got Netflix I can just put some films on every evening if I want to. I do have a lot of um, videos to watch on YouTube. That's it for now. I'm getting dressed because we're going down to see my mum and dad. I've got to try and sort out her phone line and just check that everything's all right with her foot. Get my card. I, I think possibly I might have a birthday card. <laughs> I don't know. I'm waiting for the present to arrive. It should be arriving at some point today. But uh, we'll see. I'll go get uh, Jennifer sorted and we'll be going out and I'll uh, catch up with you in a bit. Hi guys, I've been to see my mum. She's fine. Um, if it's fine, she had a boot on wrong, so we had to. I had to change that. So she can't put it on right. So obviously, as I've got to care for, give her a hand every now and again. I can go in, but from next week anyway in Wales, we can actually form a bubble with another household. So mum and dad will be able to hug Jennifer again and all that good stuff. So it's just a matter of being sensible and being careful. So I, uh, I've i got my last present, well, I had a gift card from Paul's mum. She has got me a t-shirt as well, but that's taken a little while to arrive for some reason. She also sent me a £30 M&S gift card, so I shall look for something on their website, see what I fancy for myself. I don't know. I'll have to have a look. It'd be so easy just to buy a new bra, but no, uh, not one of them not longer. So yes. I got the 72 set of Castle Arts, so I should be filming one of my new segments, which is called First Impressions. So obviously the first impression of this is it's very nice, but uh, I haven't used them. We'll swatch them and do all that good stuff um, on this. Now I'm going to watch some YouTube upstairs and have a rest. Jennifer's playing with her daddy. Um, and I'm going to have a snack before doing tea a bit later. So. The funny thing is, Paul went and posted five items for me today, and as soon as he got back, I had another sale. But that's the way it goes. It's good. We can always drop it down tomorrow or on Wednesday. It's not a big deal. Um, it's nice to get the sales in. It, it's, it's like I said, I don't need to rely on this money to live. That's what my salary from my job is for. The money from eBay is for extras. Normally, we would take it on holiday if we were on holiday. Normally, we'd be on holiday now. Um, but what we what I do is I put I save it some of it goes into account an account for um, house renovations if we need anything done in the house which we do um, some goes into my ISA and some goes into my online saver which is where I keep my bank in uh, tax money and stuff like that so that'll be all sorted out tomorrow night or facing on Thursday facing on Thursday no Wednesday sorry I don't know what day it is it's only Monday no? 
may not do very well so yeah i'm gonna do tea soon if it's not raining we'll probably sit outside it's cold and windy but it's lovely it's not if it's not raining if it's raining we'll eat in and then i'll pack up that one item ready to go um then it'll be get jennifer ready for bed and it'll be back to the future quiz that'll be fun i was gonna watch the films and i haven't but there you go so i'm gonna watch some youtube and chill out for a bit tea butter chicken curry of rice Hello. very nice i sit outside it's a bit windy i'll show you how windy it is in a minute because the padding pool blew over the fence and is now <laughs> down by the bathroom wall. Isn't that right, Daddy? That's right. Jenny, sit down, please. Looks scrummy. So this is where the paddling pool normally sits. And this is the 29th of June, so it's summer. And it's blown all the way over the line. And it's landed there. And once we get to the bottom of the steps, because I've got to hold the hand of the little one, I'll show you a bit more. Up, so it blew from all the way over there, over there, over the fence. And it's sort of there. At least there it won't blow anywhere. Because it's in between the, the house and the fence. It's not split. It's not broken from what I see. It all looks fine. We'll obviously give it a good check before we take it back up when uh, the weather improves and fill it with water again. It's cold. So I'm going back in, aren't I, Jen? Hi, guys. It is actually Tuesday afternoon. I forgot to wrap up last night. Been a bit chesty. Um, went to bed very late. Come 52nd in the quiz I think it wasn't too bad it was great I actually knew most of the answers uh vlog <coughs> today we're having a bit of a cleany tidy day aren't we yeah and um, we'll have some lunch in a bit what do you want Alan? and then we're gonna go out for a walk I'm in the moment of cleaning the cooker which is one of my least favorite jobs because it's bleh. but yeah we're getting on and um, tidying up and getting things sorted that's the coasters the marilyn ones that we should be using on the coffee table but then again no. she's drawn over it anyway yeah so i'm gonna crack on and we'll catch up later got some videos to do tonight because it's the end of the month so i've got my haul and my completed pages to do possibly i might do that tomorrow but there's a few i can do tonight <sighs> lots to do so i'm gonna crack on and come back to you after lunch so as part of our bit of clear up today, we've just gone through our, our video collection, or DVDs, and got rid of a load. We've got a big Ikea bag full of stuff that we're going to get rid of. I'll see if any of it's worth selling and tell it if it is. If not, we'll donate it, because well, when the charity shops start taking donations. I've got a pile to go upstairs in the spare room for me to watch when I want to. But there's documentaries and then TV programmes. Doctor Who, more TV programs, Equalizer, Smash, and down here, Wonder Woman series, and then onto the films. All sorts of films, very varied. If you if you want me to do a DVD tour, I can, but there's a lot of them. There's a spare shelf there. It's small. It's got some DVDs on it that are. Uh, Kids DB ones, kids programs, I'll go all the way to the floor. Dot two will be going on the other set of shelves at some point when I've sorted those out. Just because obviously I keep adding to Doctor Who. And of course if I keep adding, I've got to keep moving everything. There's a space next to Smash. Where I can put season two when I get it. Because Torchwood's too big. But yeah, it's all sorted and tidy again now. And hopefully Jennifer won't pull them out. I'll put her stuff back now. I want to watch movies. Gone with the wind sticking out for some reason. There we go. Well, I said I have duplicates upstairs and also there's some odd films here. Some Marilyn documentaries going up. Well, yeah. Love it. Love movies. Jennifer's been putting her dog to bed. It's only a cuddly dog. <laughs> she's put him in a blanket he's so cute she's been trying to help clean the kitchen haven't you <clears throat> there that's good girl <laughs> you're too sweet Jen oh I love you right so it's getting on it's got in bed. I'll check on her a bit later. 
and uh, it's 20 past 10. I am up here and I'm going to be filming um, a video. I've already filmed one. I filmed my haul, which you will have seen, and you'll have seen this next video as well by the time you see this one. I'm about to film my completed pages, which is um, 18 this month. Really pleased with that. And then I'm going to sort out this uh, huge bag of gel pens and try and pull the metallics out and put them in another bag. Because I've got another bag now. As it's the, that's the bag that the pencil cases come in. So that, that one there and that one there. Colouring books. That shelf of books that I've not coloured in is getting bigger. It's getting fuller. I need to colour in some of them this month. So I'll be explaining that in my completed pages because there's a heck of a lot of Jade Summer again. Hey ho! And it's getting on and I'm getting tired and I do want to watch the Bibliophile Colorist's completed pages for June because his is always really good. I, I just sit and do loads of patterns, he does brilliant pictures all the time. Um, just because I sit there and when I put him on I'll probably sit there, I've got a pattern book on the go at the moment I should just sit there and colour in it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to knock off for the night. Mechanics come and got my car, taking it home so we can charge my battery up tomorrow. They lift the restrictions next week so we can go and see Paul's mum next week. We can go down to Roth Park for a walk, which would be nice. Um, also, I said on the weekend, I will take Paul down to the shops and then he can go in and do the shopping and myself and Jennifer go for a walk or vice versa. Probably I'll go with Jennifer for a walk around the town. It'll all be closed, but they haven't been for a walk. I might walk up to Mum's and back. Anyhow, I'm going to get on with this video and I will see you tomorrow, which will be Wednesday. Bye, guys. Hi, everyone. It's Wednesday. It's the 1st of July. It's actually afternoon. We've just been tidying up and sorting out stuff in the living room, getting Jennifer's old pram push Jeff combo together so we can try and sell it for a few quid. Um, it's just taking up space. We can't get to our CDs because we had to move all the CDs because Jennifer kept pulling them off the shelves. She stopped doing that sort of stuff now, so we're hoping that we'll be able to put it back where we are. I've just pulled um, three colouring books to work in. Um, I've got two whips on the go that I want to finish this month. I did a bit last night on one, and the other one is my Enchanted Forest whip, which is just the cover page, um, the title page. There's not a lot to do. I probably won't do a background. Um, on this one but I've just got to finish that off and then the other two books if I can read them because they're behind me you're going all over the place one sitting on them actually I pulled our uh, Ken Horton's Little Darlings the first book I'm going to look through there and find a picture I want to do in that one and uh, Selena Fennec's uh, Fadeorables haven't done one in this book yet so that's two of all the books I've pulled that I haven't heard in that I want to so I'm going to go and clean my teeth and go down to Mum's for a, an hour and see how she's going on. Um, and that's it really. I'll be back in a bit. I'll take you with me and we'll uh, have a look at what's going on around the place. Lots of pretty flowers in Grandad's garden. Loves his garden and does our, our dad. And these roses, these pink ones, they smell beautiful. I got some in my garden, give me a cut in. And uh, it's grown and it all, oh, they smell beautiful. I'll have a whiff if I can get one down. Mm. Lots of red flowers. gone really nice. Beautiful out here, so hopefully we'll be able to have our tea out tonight. So we're back home now. Um, it's gone really warm. It's actually very nice out there. I've actually come up to the bedroom for a bit because I've got bad, my back is killing me. I get something down again. So I'm just taking some painkillers and have a, a rest. Uh, Paul will probably hate Jennifer out for another walk if she wants to go or we'll play with her, but I just need to have a rest until my pain's gone. Then we'll be just carrying on. It seems so nice. We'll probably be able to eat outside tonight, which is great. We haven't been able to do that yesterday because it was horrible. It's lovely tonight. That's better. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to have a little rest now and then uh, see how it goes. 
Thursday afternoon. I haven't vlogged today. I've just been really yeah. happy. Jennifer wants the camera. Well, what we've been watching? We've been watching turtles, haven't we? Do you like turtles? Don't breathe on, their on the lens. Ow. Ow. <laughs> you are so cute. Do you like turtles? Ow. Do you like the turtles? I'll try and get a saying turtles later. Turtles? More turtles? Huh? Anyway, I'll try and vlog a bit today. It's very nice out. We'll probably have our tea outside if I can ever cook anything because I don't know what to cook. And and, and do some carrying up there and pack some orders. Hello. <laughs> she wants to say hello. No, yeah. Time for tea. Say hello. Hello. Hi, Jen. <laughs> Everyone's in bed and I've just been putting a video on YouTube. It's been a pretty shitty day, to be honest. I've not been feeling brilliant. Um, that's probably why I haven't vlogged very much. I'm okay. I just feel a bit fed up and down, so. Hopefully feel better tomorrow. So I'm going upstairs and make a couple of videos colouring wise. I'm working on my Crayola pencils video so I might do a bit more of that. I've got first impressions to do and a colouring chat. I might not do that tonight. I might do that tomorrow night. I have to see. But if I do my first impressions and if I do my colouring... Sorry, my bit of the Crayola one. I'll be happy. So I'm going to go up and do that now. I'll see you tomorrow. It's Friday already. It's almost time to go back to work. So here's my filming setup. I've got my camera just there. You can see there's clothes on the floor. It's fine. I've been swatching these pencils, taking forever because they're watercolours. I've got Sarah Kay out to do a bit of watercolouring in. I've got a Christmas book out for Christmas in July. It's just a, a wreath I'm doing. And here are the Castle Art pencils that I'm currently swatching and making a video about. Just taking a break while this page dries. It's not quite dry yet, because I need to turn the page. Um, so I'm going to watch a bit of TV while that's doing it. Then I'm going to carry on and do that. Try and get it swatched. It's going to be a long video, this one, because um, it's already 30 minutes long, and I've only swatched one third of the colours. Hi, guys. It's Friday afternoon. I haven't vlogged all day again, mainly because I couldn't find the camera. I found it now. It was up here. Been down to Mum's. Got my Marilyn T-shirt on. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. This was from Redbubble. I've got another one with a happy birthday dress on it. Uh, artwork by Alejandro. If I remember, I'll put a link to uh, his Redbubble store. You can get t-shirts and hoodies, skirts, baby clothes, mugs, even face masks. I might order another t-shirt and some face masks later. This isn't focusing properly, I think it's because everything's a bit... Um, I don't know. Also, just arrived some uh, 20 metallic brush pens. We'll be having a look at them, making a video about them later. So, yeah, we are going to have a carry tonight, so I'll update you when that arrives. And, uh, quiz night, general knowledge quiz tonight, so I'll let you know how that's going on when we get on with that. I can't remember what's going on from one day to the next. So, I'm going to potter around for a bit. I, yep, I did just treat myself to two Judy Garland items off of um, eBay ones. I think it's three CD set that I've wanted for years. I wanted it since it came out in the early 90s and I never got it. And Easter Parade on Blu-ray. Now I've got Easter Parade on DVD, but I've got the single disc edition, which doesn't have the documentary on it. On the Blu-ray, it's on the one disc. So there's a two disc DVD section, uh, set, um, version, which I haven't got. So I thought I'll order the Blu-ray because I know the documentary about the making of Easter Parade is on there. And I like those little extras and it's a lovely film. And like I said, the DVD version will come up into this room when I finish sorting it out. I've got to get the, um, the DVD player in and there's a VHS player as well. So I can have some of those as well. So they'll come in as well and then I can just bring up videos and watch them. I've got some Judy up here, Judy Girl Christmas Show, uh, Judy and Liza at the Palladium, duets, the concert years, I love that, the Judy Girl Show, Judy Frank and Dean, that was a box set I got. Um, I've also got my Complete Friends box set because Paul's not keen on Friends. 
um, some Marilyn films, including Some Like It Hot and Prince and Showgirl, a load of Marilyn documentaries, The Wizard of Oz on DVD, as well as a few others. And so, yeah, there, I'll have a few of those up here so I can watch a movie at night. Also, when I've gone through all the movies I've got to watch that I haven't yet, and I am recording some off of Sony Classics, um, I'm thinking of setting up, I haven't got it, I know, I'm one of the only people in the world who don't have it. I don't have Netflix, but I'm thinking of getting it for the movies. I love Amazon Prime, but it is mostly TV programmes, although there is a uh, Gene Harlow documentary on there called Discovering Gene Harlow, and I've got a feeling I've seen it, because this is a series that was on Sky Arts, and I know there was a Marilyn one, there was a Judy one, um, and so on, and I've watched most of them, but I'll be uh, carrying on with that later. So I'm going to get out of these wet clothes, because I'm still a bit wet, because Dad's just gone, as you can see. You see, there's a dry patch there, and wet, wet. And I'm going to get myself into some dry clothes, and I'll check back with you later. It's now Friday evening, and we are waiting for the General Knowledge Quiz to start. We really are, yeah. We had a nice curry, didn't we? From Tamarid, and, and Jennifer ate loads of pop dom, and mango chutney, and rice, and some chicken. So she ate well. And we're just waiting now. And tomorrow night we'll be watching Big Mac's Holy Soul Band on uh, YouTube. They're doing a live concert, aren't they? Yes, they are. And we've seen them several times. We like them, so we'll be watching that. I forgot never about that. Like I knew there was something going on tomorrow, but I've forgotten what it was. <laughs> I keep thinking it's a quiz because that's what we normally do. I have a drink. I have my colouring book, as you can see. I am working on this. That's for in between rounds. Looking forward to this quiz. I'll keep you posted on how we're doing in between each round. Probably badly, like normal, but hey, we don't care. We're not in it for the prizes, we're in it for the fun. After wrong quiz. <laughs> End of round one, and we're in 25th place, which is really good, because we thought we were doing terribly. So we're about to start again, so I'll keep you updated in the next one. Round two's over, and it's gone all downhill till 42nd place. We had a real jazz. It was a real terrible round one night. We were hopeless, useless. I'm going to go get another Budweiser. I'm going to get another can of. What am I drinking? Can't, uh, I can't remember. These quizzes are too difficult. <laughs> Strongbow dark fruits. I'm going to have another can and get Paulie's next can. So I'll see you after next time. I better turn this off before we get copyrighted. Okay, end of round three, and we're up at 45th. And it was a still a crap round. One of them we just got by luck, which is the very last question, which was a picture one. Guess who this is? I just hit Jay because I had no idea, and apparently it was Joe Exotic. I wouldn't know because I never watched that programme. Don't have Netflix, as I said. So I have no idea what he looked like, and they've always got him covering part of his face. But I got it because I just went for Jay. Sometimes it just pays to have a guess. 20? You lose 20 points in the next round? No, it's, no, it's terrible. You just have to leave them blank if you don't know again, get penalised for that. So let's see where we can end up at the bottom next time. I'll let you know at the end of the quiz. Okay, it's the end of the quiz now, so we're going to see where we actually came. So I'll see if I can film it for you. You're not last. So well done, everybody. You're not last, which is good. Um, we're higher than 67th. <laughs> we're higher than... Okay, so the top three... Six, no yeah. Order, we have... The Dump Gang. Uh, dynamic Duo and a Real Jazzing. Okay, so you're in the top three, Here not in that order. Here we go. Let's see. Hang on, I haven't seen this yet. 35th. That's good. Okay. So after that, we came 35th, which is not bad considering it was, what, 92 two teams? Mm. We'll never win. But we'll play again. But like I said, tomorrow it is Big Mac. Something entirely different. They'll be singing, they'll be dancing, there'll be probably some beers. Because we'll be what we'll be um, boogieing on down to Big Mac's Holy Soul Band. Right. That's it for tonight, I think. I'm going to go upstairs, go to bed. Might watch some telly for a bit in the bedroom. Finish my beer. I'll see you in the morning. Bye. 
Well, it's Saturday. It's the day of Hooli Mac. Jennifer and Paul are in the kitchen. I've just come in now because um, it's afternoon. But oh my god, today I got up late, very late. I got up at ten o'clock. So decadent. Never get up at ten o'clock anymore because Jennifer normally doesn't let me, but she did today. I think she did so much running around yesterday. She was uh, actually absolutely zonked. Um, just done the washing up from last night because obviously last night we did the quiz. Luckily, they weren't huge amounts, mostly pots, and not pots and pans, but pots that the curry came in because we had curry, which was really nice. What's the matter? Oh dear, that's when you, what happens when you run around playing around with dirty details. They can't go in the washing machine because the washing's on. Can you see yourself? And I've just huffed up on the camera. Oh, look. So this morning I've ordered Jennifer a load of new clothes because she needs more leggings and socks and pyjamas and a waffle t-shirt. She's watched, she's got waffle on now. We've got the record on, uh, the radio on. Cleaned the fridge, it's very exciting, isn't it? Cleaned the fridge, did the washing up, well, wait, put the recycling out. Very exciting, isn't it? It's not very nice out. Um, Dad's gonna go down the shop in a minute. Paul's gonna go down the shop and get some beers for tonight and some other stuff. We have some lunch in a bit. We've got some leftover curry from last night. She loves it. Uh, and I'm gonna start on the bathroom in a bit. How excited is my life? <sighs> 10 to two and bathroom is now nice and clean and sparkly like it should be. <sighs> Jennifer's helping daddy take the recycling out because she thinks it's full. It's, it, there's some big bits in it. It's not actually full but there's enough. So now I'm going to do lunch then I'm going to wash up again and then I'm going to have a nice shower because I'm all hot and sweaty from cleaning. So, but it's done and it's nice and it's lovely. Next room to tackle will be the living room again because uh, Jennifer's toys are everywhere. So we might have a tidy up after she's gone to bed before we watch Big Mac. Or we could tidy in time to the music. That'll be fun. And then tomorrow we can give it a hoover. Yay! These roots going along now. But I'm not going to the hairdressers. My hairdressers is opening again soon, but I'm not going back to them yet because... Uh, my hair takes about three hours to do, and there's no way I could sit there for three hours in a mask. Am I going to have a cut and blow dry? I could have coped with that, but I couldn't sit there for three hours with a mask on. Yeah. But we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to crack on and get Jennifer and me some lunch. We got up late, so lunch is a bit later. So I do need a good shower, but I'm going to wash up again after lunch before I have one. So I'll call, crack on and um, I'll check back in with you after lunch. I might do a bit of colouring after I've had my shower. And have a sit down for five minutes. <laughs> See you in a bit. Okay, so I've just had a shower and I feel so much better. It's all been good today. Um, I've just been watching on YouTube somebody called uh, Laura Jane Atelier. It's very vintage um, makeup. She shows what makeups are still available, what skincare products are still available that you can still buy today that stars from the old days used. So Doris Day, Elizabeth Taylor, Marilyn Monroe. Lena Horne is the one I'm watching at the moment. Um, what they used, their exercise routines and, and so on. So it's a really cool um, one. So I've just done this. I'm going to go downstairs now because Paul needs to nip to the shop. I've had another sale. It's gone well this weekend on eBay. And I haven't listed in over a week because I've been on all day. Need to get listing. I'm happy with that though. It's great. Um, so I'm going to go downstairs and... Um, that's the door banging because I've got the window open and the door was open. Crack on, I've just been sorting some stuff up, putting some washing away. Um, sorting out some dirty washing to put on. I've got a load that needs to go in the tumble dryer again. So I'm going to go sort that out now. It's never ending, I tell you. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> We're out for a walk. It's raining. But Jennifer likes her afternoon walk, don't you, baby? So head up to the canal. Jennifer, she wants to have a run with daddy. I'll come in a minute. <laughs> She's got a little raincoat on, haven't you? Okay. Who's this, Jen? Who's that? Peepee. Is it Peepee? Pee -pee? Yes. There she is. Mummy. I'm here, darling. Mummy's here. Mummy. Yeah, so it's a bit grey. It's okay. It's not too bad up here. There's a few people about, not a huge amount. I thought we'd come out and get some air, didn't we? You've got a dirty little face, mutton chops, you have. Mm. Yeah, we we'll go back and make some tea in a minute. It's getting on. Mm. You have gravy? Mm. You like gravy? Oh, come on then, let's go down there. Mm. Come on.
can run with daddy if you want. So yeah, it's been all go non-stop today. So, have a little walk. Or run in Jennifer's case. And our little walk, she tends to walk up to this bench. And then that's it, she wants to go home. So we don't even make it to the first bridge. Um, but it's still a nice little stroll. You can't go down there. Going home now, you wanted to go home. <laughs> A little stroll. It's a bit of fresh air. It's quite nice. And put the dinner on, and then go up the shed to pack a few sails before it gets too dark. Oh, I can see a duck. Look, ducks. Uh, more hen. Some more hen. The more hen and a duck. See, he's got the red bit on by his beak, Paul. That's how you know it's a more hen. Here comes some more. Back. She likes to run and then she'll turn around and run back. Until we reach the doggy bins. And then she goes waffle poo. Oh hello. 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 Come on then. Through you go. What is it? What is it? No, what's that? Waffle poo. Waffle poo. Good girl. She knows this where you put your dog waste. So those of you who don't pick it up, pick it up! <coughs> Prince of Wales, our favourite pub. Because it's on the canal when it's open. Obviously it's not at the moment. But uh, while we won't be generally going out drinking when the pubs do reopen in Wales, if we're out for one of our daily walks and the Prince is open, a nice enough day and we can stand outside and have a drink we will certainly be here uh, supporting Jason and his fantastic crew because we do like this pub even Jennifer likes this pub she just keeps trying to go into it even though it's closed don't you oh, ball. no there's no ball down there no. on a nice day it's a lovely view that's not too bad actually in the mist and rain so yeah I mean they've got all this area here which is obviously public they can put up some of their tables and they have got a beer garden over here which is partly grass part paved so they could open that up and use that I think that's what they'll probably have to do are you coming so hopefully Jason will be able to open up soon and if we're passing we will certainly be having a pint like we normally do. Jennifer's found her screech. So I'm in the shed, it's a bit dark as you can see. So I've got these two going out and these two going out to the same person. For some reason they didn't wait for me to combine and ship in and send them an invoice. They just paid for postage. So they paid for those two together and these two. So I'm going to put these two in one and those in another. I could possibly put it into one. It'll go as a small parcel. Do you know what? I'm probably going to do that, actually. Yeah, I will. And then if they want a refund on postage, they can have it once they're happy with the items. Jennifer's loving the music because we're watching Big Mac. She wants you to dance with her like I was. <laughs> Jen! Hang up, hang up. <laughs> You're gonna dance. Come here. <laughs> yeah, she loves it, don't you, baby? <laughs> okay, Saturday night, and I've just <sighs> knackered. Filmed colour and chat. So we watched Big Mac. It was brilliant. It was fun. We danced. <laughs> Jennifer loved it. She stayed up for the whole thing and had a good dance. And then uh, I finished my drink. Came up. Put my pyjamas on and watched a bit of uh, Laura and then did a current chat and we're working on this picture from Summertime Fun which is Deborah Muller. When I was in that current chat you'll have seen this by then. I mentioned my colouring books. That top shelf is all books I have not coloured in. 
I'm trying to dent it and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. These are books I've coloured in. Those are books I want to colour in this month. One's laying down. Those I haven't coloured in. Those I have. And those I have. So I need to get that shelf down a lot. So there are some patterns up there, not many, but there's at least one or two pattern books up there and I've got a couple of pattern books down this month. I've really got to crack on with those, but uh, tonight, um, oh, there we go. I'm going to, I'm thinking of doing a bit of the Crayola video. But my back's hurting because of the way I sit. I might have to change the where I'm sitting uh, just for this bit. But I'm also really tired, so if I do, it'll only be a very little bit. I might actually not. I might just pick out the colours and that I'm going to use for the next section of it, and then my roots. Luckily, you can't see them too bad, but they are. If you look at my root. <laughs> Here's up. So, yeah, I think I'll pick up the colours I'll do for the next section and get those pencils sharpened ready, and then I can film it tomorrow night. That's what I'm going to do. So that's it for me to, for tonight. It's Saturday. You will see me again tomorrow for Sunday. I probably won't film that much, but uh, be another boring day of cleaning, shopping, washing up, doing eBay. Might go do some eBay tomorrow. I did put some listings up tonight, so that's cool. And I'm just gonna. I hopefully have a bit of a chill tomorrow, but I'm, you know, I am in the mood to try and do a bit more housework. I want to hoover tomorrow. The reason is I'm hoping it's going to help me lose a bit of weight. I'm not eating as much as I used to, and went for a walk yesterday. We'll be walking to my mum's tomorrow, so I'm hoping that a bit more exercise. That box of sweets that Paul bought me for my birthday, that I showed you on Monday. I have not had a single sweet out of that box yet. So tomorrow, I might, I might do is when, when I was a kid. My dad used to bring, he used to run a butcher shop, so he used to go catch a carry buy a jar of sweets. And he would bring home sweets for us on a Saturday and would give them to us on a Sunday afternoon. And he'd basically weigh them out on his scales. And we'd have a bag of sweets, the same weight, so nobody could complain. And we had them after dinner on a Sunday. So what I think I might do is after, although we don't have a Sunday lunch. I mean, of course, a Sunday lunch would be like a one o'clock. We don't have that. So after lunch tomorrow, before we go to mum and dad's, gives me time to walk it off, I will have one sweet out of that box, or one packet of sweets. I mean, for instance, they've got the little love hearts. I might have a packet of them now. That's tempting. And I think I'm just going to divvy them out one item a week. There are some chocolate coins. I said Jennifer could have those because she likes chocolate coins. And that's it really. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll let you know how I get on and if I manage. I, I'm going to eat those love hearts tonight. I'm going to try not to, but I really want to. I shouldn't. I'll go to my teeth this time of night. But I'll see you tomorrow. It's Sunday, last day of the vlog. Shall I do another one next week? Back to work. I might do. We might do some filming next week of um, me singing. So you might get to see a little bit of that. I love makeup on and everything. Yeah, that's mad, isn't it? Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm, I'm gonna do a bit more colouring and crack off to bed. See you soon. Sunday morning, I'm wearing my happy birthday t-shirt by Alejandro. I will try and remember to link the red bubble below. I've got a few links to put in. I'm gonna start making a list of links every time I do it, because I keep forgetting. And I've got a link, Laura Jane and red bubble. I'm making out that when I go downstairs. We're going to go shopping. Oh, I look a state. <laughs> I haven't worn makeup in months. We're going shopping. Only food shopping. I have not been in a shop since before lockdown. Paul's done it on his own. I've got my car back. It's all ready to go. Um, I'm hoping that Jennifer will still fit in her car seat and we'll take it out tonight and adjust it. But uh, she should be all right just for a quick trip to the shops. Um, so we're going to go to the shop. Do the shopping and like I said, I have not been at these wrinkles. I need Botox on my head. And um crack on. Yeah. I have now ordered myself. And I said I got the I've ordered a bar, bar of Kirk's soap, which I saw on Laura's site, which apparently Jean Harlow used to wash her hair in to try it it's for face and hair. My roots are getting long. And um just take my hair down so we can see. 
I've ordered two new lipsticks. I've got tons of lipstick. Oh my god, look how long my roots are. Um, I've ordered a Max Factor Ruby Red from the Marilyn collection. I wonder why. And a Revlon colour called Kiss Me Coral, which used to, in the 60s, be called uh, Moondrops Hot Coral. And allegedly, apparently it is the colour that Marilyn wore in Something's Got to Give. Um, and I'll show you a picture later. But that's coming sometime in the week I don't know when um, but I've only just ordered it uh, so they were just a couple of quid I love my lipsticks my battery's dying I'm not gonna be able to take you shopping that's a shame um, I have got a spare somewhere oh it's awful anyway I'm gonna go and get this shopping done I've got to brush my hair I'll see you in a bit I'm sure it's really sad but I'm quite excited to be going in the supermarket because I haven't been in a shop for over three months and Jennifer hasn't had her trolley ride have you you enjoy your trolley ride, don't you, darling? You got the list, haven't you? Let's go shopping! Yay! Back from shopping, I had some lunch. That was weird. Um, next door started with his bloody renovations again. I mean, he's renovated that house so many times, you might as well have knocked it down and built a new one, to be honest. It's just constant. Every time the sun comes out, he's constantly doing something. It really gets on my nerves. Gonna go down to Amazon a bit. Amazon tried to deliver, but of course we were shopping and now I don't know when they're coming back with it. He said sometime this afternoon, but useless. Won't leave it with a neighbour. We're not supposed to because of COVID. That's funny because we had one from for next door the other day that we kept for them. And previously they've put it in the recycling bin. It's annoying. Not in a good mood. What colour is that yellow? Yeah. You sticking your magnets together? Oh no, you kicked them. Playing with Grandad. Oi. You kicked them now. Uh oh. Uh oh, Dad. There. That's right. There. You pull them along, Joy. Too, too many. Too many. I can see your bottom, Jennifer. Put your trousers up. It's like looking at your dad. His bum's always out. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't even worry about fussy. Yeah. There's a good girl. What have you got? The red one. They go in there, look. That's it. Yeah. Go on, Jennifer. Go on, Jennifer. Go on, Jennifer. She's so cute playing with her granddad. Hey, it's time for tea. It's a bit breezy, but we come outside. We've got chicken, charcoal chicken, egg fried rice with peas, and Jennifer's got the same but with sausages, and we've got a peri peri sauce. Sunday night, everything's blown around again, as you can see. The, sli the slides over there, as you see, there's no paddling pool because it's gone over the fence, down there again. So, I'm gonna have some dinner now and then uh, see what happens next. Here's my Kelly Horton page at the moment. I still need to go back over this. The sky's done, I'm doing the moon at the moment. I haven't finished one picture yet this month and it's the fifth. It might be the month I don't complete anything, I just have loads of starts. Um, I'm sure I will finish something, but I just, I like to colour, but I just don't get much chance. Jennifer's constantly on the go, which is fair enough. She's a young kid and she should be. But oh, we're going to have five minutes of colouring outside before we go and, uh, before I go and uh, wash up and do that sort of night stuff, like give her a bath before bed. So yeah sign off for a minute. I like this book, it's very nice. So this is the soap that they say, this girl says Jean Harlow or used. And um, what I do like about it, it is in a paper sleeve and, excuse the mess on the floor, I've got to pick that up, it's Jennifer's. The soap is loose inside. It smells nice. There's no plastic in it at all. There's no plastic wrap. So it's environmentally friendlier so this piece of paper will be recyclable so when I use it tomorrow to wash my hair that piece of paper can go straight into our recycling bin there's no plastic we've been buying pear soap because that comes in a box but it's also wrapped in plastic inside the box which I don't understand um, it's late Sunday now I'm gonna call this a night on this um, I'm going to go to bed soon I'm just going to upload colour and chat which you'll have already seen if you watch that um, by the time this goes up on Sunday Monday morning rather and I'm watching the lady who used to be called Karen Zell Close she's now called 
two kids, two cats, one dog and a job, which is fine. They're old ones I haven't watched for a while, so. Um, yeah, it's been an interesting week. I'm kind of going to try and vlog every week and do one weekly vlog every week um, rather than every other week. Um, as we get towards the end of lockdown and pandemic, it's going to be more interesting things to talk about. I'm going to be going out a lot more. I mean, Paul's got a meeting all afternoon, four hours of meeting tomorrow. So I'm hoping that tomorrow... Um, after me and Jennifer have had our lunch, I'll take her for a walk up to Nana and Grandad's um, just to let Paul have some peace for his meet, meet in. And then we can come back and chill. So yeah, it, it, you know, um, it's hard for him to concentrate when she's um, around. I, I know what it means. So I'm, I'm just gonna upload this video and then I'm gonna go upstairs and film some more of my Crayola video. I'm going to do my flip through of the new Hannah Lynn book, which arrived today. And then, depending on what time it is after that, I'm going to. Um, I might do. <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous. Um, a, a bit of the um, castle arts video. I might start doing the filming on on part two of that because today. The 120 Castle Arts normal pencil set arrived and I want to crack into getting them open and I can't do that until I finish this one really. I want to finish them one at a time and get them all set up. But what will happen is to, I'll probably start filming that tomorrow but tomorrow, I, I mean, I've got to start doing eBay and I was trying not to um, film at night because I've got, see, I've got to get up for work in the morning and then I've got to try and do my eBay. I'm having today off. I did list yesterday, I haven't listed anything today and that's, that's fine, but tomorrow I'm, I want to get back to listing five or six items um, today. It'll probably be more because I've got all those uh, DVDs of mine and Paul's. So my plan is to list my five clothing items and then maybe one or two of the others just to try and get rid of them because they're taking up space in the living room. I can't even get to the table and I'm going to do my job tomorrow but I'll, I'll make some space in the morning. So that's it for this vlog for now. I will see you in the next one which will be obviously I'll start filming it tomorrow morning. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I'll let you know how, obviously how it goes with the Kirk's soap. You know both on my face so I'll use it on my face and I don't put soap on my face normally I just use a cleanser and a toner because I always find that soap dries up my skin but I will try it and I'll try it on my hair just to see. It's very expensive so I don't know if I'll buy it again. I might buy the different one. You can get some of them in a multi-pack and it works out cheaper but they didn't have the multi-pack of that particular one. But that's it. Hope you've enjoyed this weekly vlog. I will see you very very soon in another video whether it be a colouring chat or a another weekly vlog just to let you know before I go I'm going to be planning on doing some sort of um, uploading schedule so basically every Monday is going to be weekly vlog if I do one I'm gonna try now we're getting to the end of lockdown Tuesdays is going to be first impressions Wednesday will be another colour and chat, so I've got to film it Tuesday. Thursday will be whatever I've got, so it might be just a flip through. Friday will be another colour and chat. Saturday might be a, I'm probably another flip through if I've got any. I mean, if I haven't got any flip throughs, then it'll be a day of nothing. And then Sunday will be a colour and chat, and then we'll get back to Mondays. So that's my plan. If you like this idea, let me know. If you want me to do um, any book reviews of anything I'm reading, let me know as well. I'm currently reading someone on Cary Grant. I'm reading a Jack the Ripper book. Um, I've got my Letters from Hollywood book to read. If you're interested in me doing those sorts of things and talking about the books I've read, let me know. And I can certainly add that to the to the list. It'll give me another video to to film and put up every now and again. So I'm going to go now and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.